if I want to use my Poisson model, I need to know how many games or how many goals the home team scores on average, how many goals the home team concedes on average, what the average home team scores on average and the average home team concedes well, on average but. and finally how many goals the away team so the average home team the average home scored means I look at what the average is for the home team to see how many goals the home team scores but I average that over all the teams as well. So, you know, the first home scored is what is the average number of goals that the home team in particular, like the, the game I'm looking at, how many games, how many goals does that team score at home on average? While the average home scored is what is the average average home scored is. We know we'll, we'll just do it. We'll go through it in a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So for that, we go to soccer stats. Arsenal are playing West Brom. So being an Arsenal supporter, I want to know what do I expect is going to happen. So I'll click on goals and now you, you can get the information from multiple sources. I just find the fastest way is clicking on scored conceded. Okay, so firstly I click on home and I can see that Arsenal, on average, score 2.25 goals and concede 1.25. So they score on average 2.25 and concede 1.25. Then I need the league averages. So on average, the home team scores 1.62 so 1.62 and concede 1.19 1.19 and now I just need the away score and conceded so I want away and I think it was West Brom so West Brom score on, on average 0 0.88 and concede 1. 0 0.88 and 1. 0 0.88 and 1. So that should be it. So return. And here is what we expect is going to happen. So this model now I don't need the model or this code part, so I'll shrink that. Um, so on average, I expect 2.27 goals to be scored. Okay, so not that many. Arsenal at home only scored 2.25. Okay, so I think Arsenal away tend to have high scoring games. Uh, so this is saying the most likely outcome is Arsenal to win, but you know that, that they only win in slightly less than half of the games. So it's not you know a sure thing. Again, football in general, the home team wins half the time, and it's draw 
and away team winning roughly a quarter. So this is kind of like a typical game. So then it's saying three or more goals, 40% of the time, both teams to score, 45%. On average, the home team will score 1.39 and the away team will score 0 0.88. So, you know, I would have liked to have seen that Arsenal are going to win 5 mil, but Pulis will have, Pulis teams tend to have a very good defence, so it, it, it would tend to be hard to um, to do that well. Um, so, you know, since it's going to be close, the minus one Asian handicap is unlikely. So it, it, it doesn't think that Arsenal are going to win by more than one goal. The two or three goals looks interesting, you know, nearly half the time. But that'll depend on, you know, the odds. So that's how it works. You know that you, um, you just go, okay, hmm, what's going to happen for Arsenal versus West Brom? You get the data from the soccer stats. What this actually does, I think I'll okay. So I'll look at the code again. Is it uses the parameters that we gave it. So typically Arsenal Arsenal on average score what was it 2.25 so that's one input and then this is scaled because essentially it looks at on average okay so the away conceded is how many goals that West Brom concede on average and this is what the average is so across the whole league so basically since West Brom have a better defense it would be harder for Arsenal to score against them so basically you know say we had West Brom I, I think West Brom do have a very good defense but essentially you need to score two goals against an average team to get one goal against this really good defense team so that's what this scaled factor does likewise it scales you know this is what the home team typically concede or this is this is what arsenal typically concede and this is what you know the league average is so if arsenal's defense is a lot better than the typical home defense then it'll be harder like this this factor will be say a half or something so you'll have to score you'll score half the goals that you would normally score so that's that's all that this does so once since the only parameter in the Poisson distribution is what the average rate is so once I s slot that in this produces a the goals that the home team is going to score and the goals that the away team is going to score so and it's going to do it for a thousand simulated games then it's pretty easy i go total goals is the sum of the goals scored by team a and the goals scored by team b again the the naming could have been perhaps better so then i just work out what the average goals are i just go mean goals is equal to what the average of the total goals is because remember in r you, you have the, a vector so x team a is 1000 scores you know we have 1000 games simulated so i can go x team a zero or x team a one for the first game, X team A2 for the second, and so on. So that's all I had to do to generate the statistics. Well, pretty much. 
So then if I want to know how many times did the home team win? Well, I just count the number of times that the goal, X team A is the goal scored by the home team and X team B is the goal scored by the away team. So if the home team scores more goals than the away team, then this logical test will come out as true. And true is represented by one, false by zero. So if I just sum what's inside this bracket, it'll add, it'll basically count the number of times out of a thousand that the home team scored more goals than the away one, which is counting how many times the home team wins. Likewise, if I want to count how many times it was a draw, I just count how many times that both teams score the same number of goals. So that's pretty much all that's involved. It's, it's not uh, that complex. The issues would more be about whether, how good a model is this? It does tend to give the correct number of goals. I mean, if you, if you, you know, we saw that plot in the previous video, you just slot in for the league and you can do it for each team as well. And it tends to match pretty well. So it's not a hundred percent match, but it, it's 95, 90, I mean, 98, even I mean, it's, it's remarkably accurate. But it tends to be wrong with draws. I think particularly with nil all, there's a uh, issue there. It, I think it overcounts or undercounts or something there. You know, so um, we have to kind of actually try out this model and then, and then basically see how it works. Basically identify with time. What maybe it actually does very well at predicting both teams to score. Maybe it does very well at scoring the exact number of goals. So basically, you know, if I look at the mean team home and away, that seems to be saying the most likely result is the one all and the most likely result is Arsenal to win or of the three results, the most likely is Arsenal that like the home team to win. But it's more likely that Arsenal won't win that they, than they do win. So that's how this system works. Then we actually have to do the experiment. We have to try it out, plug in the correct parameters for many games, f for several weeks, and then we can kind of make a s judgment about, you know, how useful this is. And from other websites and articles I've come across, you know, it it varies. You you do have periods where it will tend to perform very well and you kind of go, what? This is incredible. But that is probably just a lucky run and that's that's giving a false impression it's not actually that good but then again there'll be periods where it'll look like it's absolute rubbish and it gets seven eight nine games wrong in a row but that's probably just an unlucky run so you know all we can do is test it out and see how it does